Now this is going to be the first in, I don't know how long of a series of videos, but we're going to look at the voltages across components. It's very important to understand this when you are learning electronics and especially when you're designing your own circuits. So to begin with, we're going to look at an LED protected by a resistor, as you can see there. So the LED needs current limited to 20 milliamps of current or less, most of these LEDs there, and so you use a protective resistor. Now the resistor sets the current, but that's based on the voltage across it. So we're using a 5 volt power supply, and the resistor is going to have about 3 volts across it because the LED is going to drop about 2 volts. So these numbers are not exact, they're going to vary a, uh, a bit, but uh, it's going to be close. So now, we're going to use the multimeter because you can actually measure these voltages. You don't just have to go by what's I've written when you're looking at circuit analysis. So we set the meter to voltage for this one. We just need the red probe there unless we're measuring high current and it auto ranges. We don't have to set a range of voltages. So now we're going to see what the actual voltage is because it does vary a bit when it comes to LEDs with how much current's going through and it's a nice two volts right there. So this is a 220 ohm resistor. We'll measure the voltage across it and it's about uh, three volts. So we know 2 plus 3 is 5. We have uh, 5 volts at uh, the supply there. So there's a little bit less because there's a little resistance and stuff through the wires elsewhere that uh, is picking up some of the voltage. But there you can see the supply says 5 volts. It says 12 milliamps of current there, uh, 0 0.012 amps. But uh, this is usually about a milliamp or two off. So we'll measure the current with the multimeter. So we just open up the uh, circuit so we can measure current. It has to go through the uh, meter as well. We'll set the meter to measure milliamps right there and we just have to insert that into the circuit and we will have the uh, current, a more accurate current. And then you can see 13.2 it looks like. And so you can see the calculations that I made and I did all this before I did any testing are uh, pretty accurate here. We had 2 volts across the LED and uh, practically 3 volts across the uh, resistor. We lost a little supply. So that set the current and uh, so it was a little lower than what I calculated here. So I calculated uh, 3 volts divided by 220 ohms for 13.6 uh, milliamps and uh, S, uh, rounded off. And then I multiplied that current by the voltage to get the wattage. So this is rated for 0.25 watts or a quarter watt. And you still want to keep it below a 0.125, an eighth of a watt. So we're way below that. The resistor is not getting very hot in this circuit. But now we're going to look at a second situation. So it's wired the same except for instead of 220 ohms I put in 470 ohms and then I raise the supply voltage to 9 volts. And as you can see here the supply voltage is 9 volts and we got about 15 milliamps of current going through there. No point measuring current anymore. But uh, I calculated this before I uh, built the circuit at all and uh, I took the 9 volts minus the about 2 volt drop of the LED. That's relatively stable. That's if it's red it's somewhere around 2 volts, uh, slightly lower at lower currents, slightly higher at higher currents, but it holds uh, somewhat close to 2 volts. And uh, the uh, voltage that it drops, that ends up going across the resistor which sets the current, so I took 7 volts divided by 470, and I got about 15 milliamps of current. As you can see here though, the resistor is going to get quite a bit warmer because it's dropping current down from more voltage. So the resistor is going to get twice as warm as uh, the resistor we used in the other voltage circuit. And of course, until this makes a lot of sense to you, it's a good idea to take uh, multimeter measurements. So there we got uh, 9 volts, just a spec less due to losses. This is the voltage across the LED. We can go to uh, any point where there's a direct connection. So this is a node right there where the red probe was and another node where the black probe was. So we got about 2 volts across there. Now we'll measure the voltage across the resistor. We had 9 minus 2, 2 volt uh, semiconductor drop there. And there we have 7 volts. We have uh, the 2 volts less than the supply voltage. So pretty straightforward. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out one of my other ones. I always turn off the multimeter. And if it has a power button, get it off of measuring current so you don't damage it. 
And uh, check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I put a link down in the description. And I will see you in the next video.